Good morning, I'm gonna start the vlog now. I am off to Cayman Islands today with a few other vlogging girls for a little press trip. I literally rolled out of bed this morning and go straight to the airport, as in like I opened my eyes, put my clothes on and just left. So apologies for the state of me, but I'm gonna go check in now and then I'll catch up on everything. Good morning guys from a very different location. I think last time I vlogged I was maybe in Boston and now I am in the Cayman Islands. So a bit of a change of scenery. I've gone from being like really autumnal and like city to being on a beach quite literally. So I am actually in the Cayman Islands for I think about a week and I'm going to be daily vlogging again because I just really enjoy doing it. I think it's so much fun. And I know the New York ones have been a bit patchy going up but I'm actually gonna spend my time here just sorting those out and like make sure I get them all done and whatever. But I just figured it was the best way for me to do it because I think travel vlogs are what you guys prefer seeing. So it made sense for me to just do those. But anyway, more about Cayman. So I got here last night we traveled the entire day so i got out of bed at, i think quarter past seven and i didn't stop traveling till i want to say like 10 o'clock last night and then we literally got to the hotel got to our rooms checked in went to sleep <laughs> didn't, didn't stay up and it's now six o'clock so i'm up nice and early well it's 6 41 now but i'm up nice and early and just kind of sitting and looking at the view because it's absolutely gorgeous and I think I'm gonna really like it here, it's beautiful. But we're staying at the Kimpton Spa Resort, which is basically on the Grand Cayman, and it's beautiful. So I'm actually in a junior suite, which I'm gonna show you later, because I obviously got in and got straight into bed, but once they've made the bed later, I'm just gonna show you, because it will look a lot nicer, and yeah, I think you'll enjoy it a bit more. But it's so nice. The view is insane. Let me show you the view right now while I'm sat editing. Hang on. I'm going to move to the other side because I actually can't see very well. I basically like plonked myself down in the corner and actually the corner's the worst spot. Um, okay, this is my view. How amazing is this? Like the sea haze, it looks so beautiful. You've got the pool down here. It's so nice. Obsessed. Okay, the shoes are coming off. We're going on the beach. Touching Caribbean soil. Soil? Soil. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, let's take a picture in that hammock. Okay, this is insane, sorry. Oh my god, there's jet skis. Do you think we're allowed on the jet skis? This is beautiful. Head underwater, falling back into you. I thought we'd be smarter, I got nothing left to lose. You said you fall with me, no matter how far it goes. Down deep and under. She's convinced she's gonna die in the helicopter. Nothing goes wrong in Cayman. <laughs> Woohoo! I need a margarita before this. So we're actually in the car now, just going off to the helicopter. So we're doing a helicopter, I believe, over Cayman and like over the sea and stuff, I'm not really sure. And then we're going to Stingray City. It's just very exciting. None of the girls want to come on the helicopter. Not doing it. <laughs> Jess is refusing not to go on the helicopter. It. So is Emily. Lauren's in two minds. I'm not doing it. 
you're doing. Emily's so happy she that I'm not doing it. She just doesn't want to be it. on her own on the ground. <laughs> I just don't want her to die the <laughs> Basically, she cares about Jess enough, she's not really that bothered. <laughs> Leaving us, going to Burger King. Okay, Jess, how dare you? <laughs> how dare you not come on? <laughs> so we're just going now to get on the helicopter, which looks like a little shark. It's actually really cute, it's bright blue. And we literally take off like on the seafront, which is pretty epic. This one is terrified wherever she is by me. I'm excited. And there's three window seats, how perfect is that? Don't know the reasons. I'm not sure I really care. We're all of our demons. And they never disappear. I will forgive you if you forgive me. We're stuck in this pattern, but I need you close. All I ever wanted was for you to prove me wrong. You're changing our colors. Again and again, I could never let you go Something about you feels so different Makes me wanna risk it Every time I look at you You put me back into your river Swim a little deeper I don't need to breathe With my head on the water Do you wanna come get a picture of that? <laughs> We did the helicopter, it was amazing, it's so much fun and it looked beautiful so obviously you will have seen the footage by now but for now we are about to head off for lunch so we're going for a quick bite to eat and then we are heading over to Stingray City for the afternoon which is going to be amazing so we get to swim with all the stingrays which I actually just put in the um, helicopter vlog but oh my god it was unreal. It was so 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 good, like completely different to New York but so good, I recommend if you ever come here. On the boat now I with want, Cayman I Luxury want, Charters, so we're just going to head around, go to a few swim spots, have a little look around Cayman Islands, and then we're heading to Stingray City in the afternoon. Which apparently we can't go to straight away because it's like a whole cruise, but very excited. Enjoy getting ready. Be a good day. So we've actually just arrived at Stingray City and we're about to go in and try and swim with some stingrays but look at this water, it's insane, it looks so nice and so blue. I climbed on Lauren's back. Didn't really, didn't really go in. Me and Beth ended up swimming back to the I boat. I've got three panic attacks in the last ten minutes. <laughs> it's quite. In the, I never realised I was scared of stingrays until just now. But it's not that they're like scary. It's that they're like. I worried I was going to stand on one, or that one was going to sting me by accident. And that freaked me out a little bit. But they're fine. They're fun. And apparently this is like really empty. So like no one here. So. With my head underwater. dinner but I thought I would give you a quick recap because I'm not quite sure what I filmed or how much I filmed or anything so today we headed over to Stingray City which is basically a little bay with loads of stingrays it was really amazing so much fun and I think I got a tiny bit of footage that I put in earlier but I was terrified of them like when you get in the water and you realize how big they are they're quite intimidating like 
if they were smaller fine but they literally are like bigger than like they're five feet or more wide which is obviously bigger than my arm span so like to give you an example they're bigger than that wide some of them like literally bigger than this um and obviously when one comes up they all come up they're really friendly and they're quite domesticated here especially in that little baby because obviously they're so used to tourists but literally i was terrified and i know obviously they can sting you they only apparently though so the tour guide was saying they only sting you once so like they they can't sting unless they're intimidated so kind of like a wasp but they have to be riled up to sting but apparently when they do sting they can only sting one person in their lifetime so kind of like a bee but it doesn't they don't die when they've stung you so he was like yeah they they won't just sting like you have to really like stress them out or something so me and Beth panicked, didn't really want to go near them. And then I ended up actually going over and touching one, but I just didn't want to swim near them. And getting a picture with them was surprisingly harder than we originally thought it would be. Um, but yeah, we went there. Then we headed over to a little coral reef and had a little snorkel and sport. And then we just took some pictures and chilled and had a chat on the boat and just kind of enjoyed each other's company for a little bit, which is really nice because I get on really well with all the girls that I've come on the trip with. And I've like, we've kind of either been friends before or met each other before. And obviously me and Beth were in Benidorm together and stuff. So it was really nice to just have a chat. Um, so yeah, and then we've come back now, been getting ready, had a quick FaceTime call with Tash for about an hour, <laughs> even though in England I think it's like nearly midnight or something, but I've had a quick FaceTime chat with her, and now I'm heading downstairs to meet the guys for dinner, I'm gonna try and edit a couple of pictures and stuff on the way, and put some stories up, because I haven't put any stories up from today yet, because my phone, I can only use it on Wi-Fi, because 3 doesn't work, feel at home in Cayman, which is really frustrating, but obviously it's just, like there's 70 odd countries but this just wasn't one of them so yeah can't use my phone apart from wi-fi which is a good thing and a bad thing because i want to use it but also i'm kind of glad when i have the time away from it because i'm not thinking about using it so yeah gonna head down for dinner now i'll show you what i'm wearing there's an ironing board kind of half in the way but we'll make this work this is what i'm wearing for dinner so i just have on this dress which is from zara it's just like a really nice kind of gigantic floaty dress which i just wear a lacy bra underneath because it looks quite nice and then i've just got these sandals which are from very and then i'm using my only handbag i bought with me stupidly is this little one so this is my outfit for the evening which doesn't really go it's very mix and match but it will do it's just dinner isn't it like it's not a whole fancy occasion but yeah i just didn't bring a bag with me so that's the only bag i've got that is my out of the evening and i'll try and remember to vlog at dinner but if not then i hope you enjoyed this video and i look forward to seeing you in the next one bye i got nothing left to lose you said you fall with me no matter how far it goes not even under